The infrastructure bill has been the talk of the nation, but let's see what, how it benefits the CNMI. According to Congressman Gregorio Clili Sablon, the Marianas will benefit millions of dollars with the Infrastructure Investment and Job Act bill. Most people know this as the Bipartisan Infrastructure Bill, which just recently passed the United States House of Representatives and Senate. It now sits on the desk of President Joe Biden for signature. Killily states the infrastructure bill will greatly contribute to the ongoing modernization and rebuilding of the Mariana Islands. The bill is worth $1.2 trillion, investing in roads, public transit, rural broadband, airport, water and wastewater systems, and other capital projects across America. If President Biden signs this into law, the Marianas will see nearly $24 million through the Territorial Highway Program. Another $7 million is expected to go into the CNMI's public transit system. This bill will also allow the Commonwealth to compete for $7.5 billion for road projects, particularly those focusing on climate change mitigation, resilience, and user safety. Another big highlight is a $25 million allocation for broadband. Killily states the Commonwealth is well below the Federal Communications Commission's benchmark and this funding will further improve broadband services. Families with incomes up to 200% of the federal poverty level will be eligible for a $30 monthly broadband subsidy and a $100 device subsidy to help connect with the internet. Airports are also a focal point in the bill, which means the Commonwealth Ports Authority can expect $30 million for improvement. And lastly, the CNMI will get $24 million for water and wastewater infrastructure, which has always been a particular focus of Kilili's work in Congress.